All right, here we go. YouTube, we are PG-13 out right here tonight now on Christmas Eve, Eve, Eve. Everyone's about to get this C-Main up and rolling. Everyone is gridded up. Looks like we got Joe Brooks, Dave Rosen, and Nick Bayette taking this scratch. All right, here we go. We need a marshal underneath the timing and scoring booth. Uh, yeah, you two are good up there. Yeah, stay up there. Right, hey, Riley, stay up there. Yeah, we're going to want you up there on the main. We'll keep guys up there on that rumble strip because it will get hairy. Nice. We got Zach coming out to help out. All right, boys and girls, keep it clean. And come out racing at the sound of the tone. 21.5 C main. Seven car dance, only two are gonna bump into that B main event. Someone not sounding too hot there. All right, so Baxter and Finch taking advantage of some mistakes. They are one and two. Right now, Jerry Price in that three spot. He's going to have to make up some ground. Oh, and our one number one guy. Baxter gets a wrong upside down. He's got to get marshaled out. Kim again with a quick marshal. That allows Jerry to uh, close the gap just a little bit. And she's going to have Chris Van Wagner on her tail. Chris Van Wagner gets around, moves into that three spot. So we got Finch out in the one. Baxter falls to the two. And we got Van Wagner and Jerry Price hashing it out for that three, four spot right now. Keith Hader in that hunt. Oh, Drew, got it wrong on that rumble strip. Has to get marshaled out. She falls down a couple spots. That allows Hader to move in that four spot. While one and two are continuing to gap out. Baxter in the one. Finch by the start finish line in that two spot. There's Van Wagner in that three spot. Hader's trying to set his sights on Van Wagner. Van Wagner's trying to close the gap a little bit on that number two spot. So number two comes off that straight away as Van Wagner just starts on it. So still a pretty good gap. Baxter trying to lengthen his stride a little bit. Baxter looks like he got back around. Finch, I didn't see when that happened. But it, right now it is Baxter in that one in the red, yellow wheels with the black antenna coming off that straightaway. Then we got Finch in the orange, white wheels off that straightaway. Van Wagner in the three coming off the straightaway right now, followed by Hader. Jury and Nielsen hashing it out. Right now, Jerry's got the better end of it. Nielsen went upside down, going on that straightaway. Had to get marshaled out. Two fifteen in, two forty-five to go on this C main. Watch through that chicane. Watch through that chicane. That was Jerry getting wrong. That allowed Nielsen to get around. So Nielsen puts it up on two wheels for the boys, but plants it back down. Stays ahead of Jerry. Jerry goes huge. Tries to make a move, can't quite make a stick. They are a neck and neck coming by that star finish line. Nice race. Oh, Nielsen gets it wrong, collects Jury. So those two battling neck and neck are still battling it out there through that rumble strip they go. We still got Baxter in the one. Finch in the two. Looks like Hader was making up a little bit of ground, then got it wrong. That allowed Wagner to get back around in that two spot. Three down, two to go. Two minutes minutes there goes Nielsen. Nielsen up into that five spot. Jury falls into the six. So we've got a good race going on for that five, six spot between Nielsen and Jury as they both come off that straightaway. Now Jury gets it wrong, hooks the pipe, has to marshal herself out. That allows Nielsen to lengthen his stride just a little bit. Oh, and then Nielsen puts it upside down. He's got to get marshaled out, and he does so. That's going to be first place working with you, Nielsen. Thank you very much. Uh, Nielsen and Jury are battling out themselves. That is the number one driver there. Please don't interfere with him. Thank you very much. I know you guys were battling for position there. And Mr. Nielsen, you're going to have number two working up on you as well. So when you get a chance, just give him a little bit of room. Let him get by you. Thank you very much. Game on, Jury. You're going to have... Oh, scratch that, Jerry. You got number one right behind you, but you're holding your own right now, so hold your own as long as you can. You see him gaining ground. Let him go by, but right now you are fighting for that 5-6 spot, so keep doing what you got to do. Oh, Jerry gets it wrong, pushes it wide to let number one go by. There goes Nielsen. 
So Nielsen takes over that top or that five spot. We still got Baxter out in the one coming onto the straightaway. Finch hanging on strong to that two spot. No one's really close. Van Wagner and Hader were working on that two spot, but they have since fallen off the pace quite a bit with 25 seconds left. So right now, barring a disaster, Baxter and Finch are gonna punch their ticket into that B main. We're still gonna need you out here to marshal, so take care of what you gotta take care of after you marshal or have a buddy help you out. 10 seconds left on the master. We got Jury and Nielsen still battling it out pretty good there. Then Jury cages in the pipes, gotta get marshaled out. Three and four are hashing it out through that bull turn. It's gonna be over against cross that line first and it's Van Wagner followed by Hater. Everyone keep going till I say you are done. Van Wagner, Hater, Price, you are done. There goes your winner, Mike Baxter by that start finish line and here comes Nielsen and Finch finishing out the heat. So that is a race, all stop, all stop. Mike Baxter, Nicholas Finch, you are advancing to that B main event later on in the evening. Marshals, grab your blowers. We need all those drivers. All race those drivers from race number one out on the track to Marshall for our 17.5 C main event. Thanks for your help, Zach. All right, drivers from race number one. We need you out on the track, please, to your marshalling positions. I don't know what happened to you guys. You should not be back of your pits. You should be out on the track. Race number two, you can go roll them out, check them in. Our 17.5 C main. The C and B mains tend to be almost more exciting than the A mains with the lead switches, so we'll gather around if you're interested in seeing a fun race here. Wrong lead driver, Alan Dreaming. Dreaming. One, one minute, minute to start the race. race. Alex Ingram. All right, no one else down that straightaway. No one else down that straightaway in the nine Ashley spot. Lamb. Nick Bayette in the eight, Chad Mara in the seven, Brian Davis in the six, Stacey Lamb in the five, Paul Weir in the four, Ashley Lamb in the three, Tristan Mara. In the two, Alex Ingoglia. And your number one spot in this C main, Alan Drebby. Looks like we got Tristan taking a scratch here. We're just gonna leave those spots open. So, oh, never mind. Thirty seconds to start the race. All right. Brian Davis was taking a scratch. He told me that. Chad Mara taking a scratch, Nick Bayette taking a scratch, and Tristan. Nick Bayette, you gonna make the call the here? To start the race. Jim's all jacked up on Mountain Dew. He's ready to go. Less than He's five. ready to shut this place down. Hey, instead of cheering on Paul, why don't you cheer on Nick Bayette? Get his fanny out here. Let's go, Nick. <laughs> He's working on it. All right, again, thanks everyone for coming on out to the Wednesday night race before Christmas. Hope you're all having a good time. A little bit larger crowd tonight, but we've been running a uh, running pretty uh, concise program. I hope you're all having a good time and we'll consider coming out next Wednesday as well. We will be closed on Saturday, no racing on Saturday. Next race is gonna be next Wednesday. That's gonna take us into the new year. There is no racing on New Year's Day either. So we're gonna be Wednesdays for a while. What? That's Alan Drebby, bro. And you know this, man. All right, everyone place your bets on the Lamb duo. Who's gonna take the spot? Ashley or Stacy? Who's gonna reign victorious? Either way, they bake a mean cookie, so make sure you guys thank them for baking cookies and bringing you treats. All right, Marshall's ready, driver's ready. Let's touch gloves, keep it above the belt. Let's get it on at the sound of the tone.
Keep it clean, keep it clean. Man, I can't believe you let Paul do that. Oh, someone got it wrong. That was Drebby getting it wrong in that bull turn. So he's gonna have to make up some time there. The lamb girl's going at it. The hell, and then Paul biffs it, spins it around. And that rumble strip, so who got out front? It's this blue car, that's Alex Angolio. Alex Angolio out front, taking that whole shot. Paul Weir in that two spot through that bull turn. Alan Drebby finds his way back into that three while the Lamb girls go at it with Nick Payette. All right, so here we go, here we go. Alex and Gogli out front. In that two spot, Paul Weir. In the three, Alan Drebby. So one, two, three, and four are all separated by about the same length, about uh, 30 feet or so, I would say. Alex stretching out just a little bit. Paul with plenty of power getting onto that straightaway. Oh, you should not have tried that. I saw that coming. Puts it upside down, moves into that three spot. We're only taking two, Paul. Oh, and then Alex puts it upside down. He's got to get Marshall out. That allows Drebby to find his way back up towards the top. He's in the two spot. As Paul falls to the four. Alex hanging on to that one spot. He puts it upside down on that bolter. He's going to have to get marshaled out. He is upside down. That moves Drebby back into the one. So Drebby reclaims his number one spot. Alex in the two. Bats in the hunt. He's in that three spot. Paul Weir has found his way back up there, too. He's in the hunt. So two, three, and four are all on the same section of the track coming off that straightaway. Day Allen's trying to check out while these three slap each other silly. We'll see how it shakes down here. In the next three minutes, there are three minutes to go. And right now, we got Ashley uh, taking that five spot, Stacy in the six. There's two, three, four off that straightaway. Alex has it. And we got Bayette and Paul there in the hunt. They won it. By that start finish line, they're all separated by tenths of a second. So three are going into that chicane. Something's going to give. Who's going to give first? Drebby puts it upside down, and here comes Alex and Bayette. So one, two, and three through that center section. Alex puts it upside down, has to get marshaled out. He's upside down. Go inside. I thought, Paul, you were going to hit him. So Paul moves into that three spot. Drebby puts it upside down on that rumble strip, and here comes Paul. And we got Bayette out front. Drebby in that two. Paul in the three. Drebby puts it upside down, puts it into the pipes. That moves Paul into that two spot. Alex in the three, and we got someone else upside down in that bowl section. Those are your leaders. Those are your leaders. Please let them go through. Please let them go through. Alex gets the better end of that. Slap there. Drebby would have relinquished that had that gone awry. So who do we got out front? We got Nick Bayette out front. Paul in that two spot. Then we got Alex in the distance with a minute 45 left. Drebby in that four spot. Alex puts it upside down. Drebby's got to go double single. So that's going to drop them back just a little bit. So Bayette putting some clean laps in, reaping the benefits of some mistakes. And then he puts it upside down, puts it into the pipes, has to get marshaled out. And there goes Paul into the one spot. Paul into the one. I'm not going to have a voice after this. This is only race number two. There goes Paul Weir by that start finish line. He's got a 1.9 second gap through that rumble strip. Just slow and steady, slow and steady wins the race at this point. My friend, just keep a rubber side down, you two. You two are, are got a pretty decent lead. Drebby's doing all he can to catch up, but he keeps putting it upside down. There's Alex puts it upside down as well. One so we left. had a bunch of guys fighting it out. And it was a battle for who was going to fall apart first. And right now, oh, Paul saws it off. Paul off the ball cup. Let's see if Finch can uh, get him fixed up in time. Can you pop that ball cup? Oh, he busts a ball cup. Oh, and the crowd lets him hear it. So that moves, uh, that moves Drebby back into the two spot. So we got uh, Bayette finally getting things together, putting down some good laps. He's got a decent lead right now. Drebby moves into that two. He's sitting comfortable in that two with 20 seconds left. So Paul's going to have to throw on that towel. He's going to have to take a back seat. He'll have to worry about Ma there. 
And right now we got Ashley and Stacy finding out right now. Ashley is pretty deep ahead there in that fourth spot. That is time. When you cross the line, you'll be done. Nick Fayette, you are done. Alan Drebby, you are done. There goes Stacy Lamb, you are done. We got Alex and Ashley to finish here. There is Alex finishing out in that three spot. And that is the race. All stop, all stop. I told you these BNC mains are exciting. The race is Nick Payette and Alan Drebby, after some serious drama, are going to take those two transfer spots up into the B main. Modified B main is coming at you next. We're going to need all those drivers from race number two, minus Paul Weir. I see he's driving in this race. <laughs> All right, we need everybody, including the two winners, out on the track, please. We can go ahead and put our blowers down. We're going to put our blowers down and clear the track. And race number three, go ahead and roll them out, check them out, check them in, I should say. Modified B main coming at you. We got Kevin Boyd in the five, Lyle Lamb in the four, Paul Weir in the three, Dave Nani in the two, and Aaron Brown in Kevin the, Boyd. the BQ position. Wrong way driver. driver. Dave, Dave Nani, Aaron Brown, Brown. Lyle, Lyle Lamb. One, one minute, minute to the start of the race. race. All right, Lyle Lamb will be the last one down the straightaway if he so chooses. Looks like he does not choose, so that's it. No one else down the straightaway. Go ahead and grid him up, grid him up, grid him up. Uh, we are going to need one marshal up on top of the straightaway, coming onto the straightaway. We'll need one marshal coming up onto the straightaway. 30 seconds to start the race. I get one marshal up coming onto the straightaway. Thank you, Dan. It's Dan Collinsworth for you. Thank you, buddy. All right. 15 seconds to start the race. All right, here we go. Marshall's ready. Driver's ready. Let's go racing at the sound of the tone. Less than five. Watching that rumble strip, watching the rumble strip, that was Nani getting it wrong. So we got Aaron Brown and Paul Weir currently out front, taking the top two to that A main event. One, two, and three, all separated. Uh, scratch that. We got Aaron Brown checking out just a little bit. Two and three. Two, three, and four, I should say, are all separated by about the same length. Paul Weir holding strong on that, too. Nani giving chase. Lyle trying to keep him in sight, as is Kevin Boyd. Lyle and Boyd kind of got into each other at the beginning, and they set things straight as they should, like gentlemen, and they so they got a little bit of time to make up. Yikes. That was Paul Weir doing a little pogo dance by the start finish line. He says he meant to do that. He's still in one piece, so. Paul with a little bit of bobble going on in that straightaway. That allows Nani to get around. So now it's Nani in that two spot, and then Nani biffs it, puts it upside down. It's got to get marshaled out. That allows Paul to relinquish his two spot. Oh, and then Nani goes from bad to worse. Got to get marshaled out again. That allows Lyle to go around. So now Lyle moves into that three spot. Paul That's trying to five, take three, advantage. Seven, two minutes in, three to go. Paul plays a safe goes double seven, single there. Didn't have it quite set up. Smart thing to do. By that start finish line, he goes in. Aaron Brown, Weir, Lamb, Nani, and Boyd.
Nani running the buff. Bad lap there. He's going to have a leader coming up on him. That allows everyone to go around. So, Lyle moves into that three spot. Boyd moves into the four. Nani drops to the five. Two forty-five and two fifteen to go. It is still Aaron Brown, Paul Weir, Lyle Lamb. Aaron puts it upside down. Where is Paul? Paul's not quite close enough. Aaron's banked himself a hefty lead. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. I don't want to say anything premature, so I'm going to let things air out here for uh, another minute and. 40 seconds before I say anything. Oh, the leader boogers up with uh, those two other guys battling out for something. And that allowed Paul Weir to gain some ground there. So Aaron Brown had a pretty hefty lead and, or yeah, and cashed in a lot of his lead trying to get through some lap traffic there. Don't listen to him, Paul. Just back it down and run your laps, my friend. <laughs> Aaron Brown in the one, Paul Weir in the two. Did that Boyd move into that three? Where did Lyle go? I'm uh, sorry, I didn't see what happened to Lyle, but Lyle fell off the pace, looks like. Lyle's still in that three spot, actually. One minute left. He had actually gone around Nani and Boyd. Nani and Boyd still not on the same portion of the track. Paul oh, putting a lap on Nani. Nani ain't gonna like that. He doesn't want that to happen. It's not on my watch. <laughs> Paul, Paul goes huge and takes it. Nani is not gonna let, oh, there goes Paul Weir another one spot off of a mistake. And then Nani boogers them all up and Paul gets around there. So 22 seconds left. Paul into the one spot. Aaron drops to the two. Lyle in that three spot, he's nowhere in sight, however, there's Paul with 12 seconds left. This is gonna be your last lap, boys. Don't screw it up, Paul. Paul's looking for that win. He wants that nine spot in that A main. Onto the straightaway he goes. Nani's doing everything he can to get in the way, but he actually relents. That was very nice there. Aaron put in an overdrive and puts it upside down, and that secures the win for Paul Weir. Paul toying with him like a like a kitten with a ball. All right, uh, let's go at Kevin Boyd coming around. Kevin Boyd coming around, finishing out. All right, so Paul redeems himself after that monstrous disaster of a C main. Pulls out the B main, takes the win over Aaron Brown. So Aaron Brown and Paul Weir, you guys are moving to that A main. Later on in the evening, we got our novice A main coming up here. We need all those drivers from race number three out on the track, along with a handful of volunteers. And we are gonna need a full complement of marshals out on the track, please, for this novice event. They're gonna need lots of help. All right, we need all of our mod drivers out on the track. And we can get our blowers down. We got some, we need a, uh, someone with a, we need a little help by here by that start finish line. We can get a marshal over here by that start finish line. Novice drivers, you guys go and roll them out, check them in. Novice drivers, go and roll them out, check them in. Do not break them in warm ups. Do not break them in warm ups, please. One minute to hey, start Nani, can you flip over that car? In the seven, Samara Van Wagner. In the six, Lily DeBoss. In the five, Lila Van Helmerich. Wagner. In the four, Rick Graham. In the, the three, place. Alyssa Helmerich. Connor in Cole. the two, Connor Cooley. And in that one spot, Jeremy Park. Jeremy Park. 30 seconds to the start of the race. All right, straight away is closed, straight away is closed, straight away is closed. Uh, did Rick, Rick Grimm went home, correct? Rick Grimm went home. 
15 seconds to the start of the race. All right, let's grid him up. Let's get him on the straightaway. Just pop him on the straightaway there, Lyle. Thank you very Lyle much. Lyle Less than five. All right, uh, what are we doing here? We got uh, one of the lamb girls trying to sort these two out. All right, be nice on the start here, be nice. All right, here we go. Five minutes of novice madness coming at you at the sound of the tone. All right, I'll take that. Jeremy got a little squirrely, but stayed out in front. Alyssa's in the hunt with her four-wheel drive car. This Jeremy Parks needs to settle in and do what he does. Put it down, nice, clean, steady, consistent laps. So Jeremy Park and Alyssa kind of breaking away a little bit. Connor Cooley wants a piece of that action, though. Alyssa puts it upside down. Oh, she breaks out. So in the first lap, tough break for Alyssa, qualifying on that two spot. Breaks her car in the uh, opening turns there, so that allows Connor Cooley to move in that two spot. Jeremy Park stays in that one. Then we're gonna have Lily, Lida, and Samara. Battling it out. There's your leader coming up onto the straightaway right now. Nice work, Mr. Park. Gets around a little lap traffic there. Over that floater by that star finish line he goes. So we got Jeremy Park out front, Connor Cooley trying to give chase in that two spot. He's by that start finish line, and that three is Lila Van Wagner by that start finish line right now. Her and Lily are hashing it out right now. They're actually in different parts on the clock there, but they're still having fun racing with one another. Looks like we got Alyssa back on the track, so Alyssa back at it. After a little bit of a break here to see what she can make out of this. Wouldn't be surprised she can make a top three spot here, in this, uh, but she's gonna have to put her head down, put down some steady clean laps. Here comes your leader over that floater double. He's gonna have some people to work with. Gives uh, somebody a little, little tap. Get out of the way tap. There you go. Yeah, use those fenders. Oh, that was Cooley getting hung up with some lap traffic there. So Cooley's falling back just a little bit, and our leader puts it upside down, but marshals himself out, lands on his wheels. Three minutes in, two to go. It is all Jeremy Park, Connor Cooley holding strong in that three spot. Lila Van Wagner looking solid in that three. Two minutes left. The closest battle is between Lily and Samara Van Wagner. They're separated by five seconds. There goes your leader by that start finish line with a minute 45 left, minute 45 left. Race number five, our Sportsman two car dance. A main is coming up next. The way things worked out, we're gonna let our sportsman drivers have their own heat here. All right, minute nine left, minute nine left, and Jeremy Park is way out front. Connor Cooley is way out in that second spot. Lila Van Wagner in that three. One minute left. Then we got Samara and Lily. 
Alyssa looks like she's down for the count. Oh, Jeremy Park doing a good job driving through the smoke. He's having a good time enjoying some success with his short course truck. We're at white and blue by that start finish line. Working his way in that rumble strip. We'll take a ride with him as he works his way through that chicane. And pops himself nice and steady up onto that straightaway he goes. Rolls it but lands on his feet. That is time. That is time. You will be done when you cross the line. Connor Cooley, you were done in that two spot. Lila Van Wagner, you were done in that three spot. Here comes our winner, Jeremy, by the start finish line, taking that win. We're waiting on Samara and Lily. Here comes Samara. Where's Lily at? There's Lily. Lily DeBoss coming off that straightaway with the pink wheels. The slash, the unbreakable slash through that center section. She goes, takes that option line. Over that floater double, and by that start finish line, she goes, ending in that five spot. That is a race, that is a race, taking the win. Jeremy Park in the two, Connor Cooley in the three. Lila Van Wagner. The race is completed. Our 21-5, scratch that, our 13-5 sportsman. Event is coming at you next here. We're gonna need all those novice drivers out on the track with a couple of marshals, uh, volunteers. That's what I'm trying to say. Need all of our drive novice drivers out on the track. Find yourself a cone. Lily one, Lily one, find another spot, Samara. Samara's gonna take the hot spot there, cone number one. All right, sportsman drivers, go ahead and roll them out, check them in. It is Anton versus Leah. One minute to start the race. Anton's in the two, Leah's in that one. Let's go ahead and when you get to that back straightaway, grid them up and we'll get this show underway. 45 seconds to start the race. All right, grid them ass. Flip it around there, Leah. All right. 30 seconds, 30 seconds to start, start the race. race. You figured out there? 15, 15 seconds, seconds to start, start the race. race. Yeah, Samara, go on the other side of that pillar. We don't want you to get hit. Very good. We do need Less one of the chicane here. Can we get a volunteer to hop on down in the chicane right below where Les is? All right, we'll have Tucker shift down there. We got it, Richard. Uh, Tucker shift down there. Uh, Lily can handle this area. All right, driver's ready, marshal's ready. Let's go racing at the sound of the tone. I would say keep it clean, but I don't have to say that with these two drivers because I know that they will. Leah hanging on to that whole shot. No, oh, Leah puts it upside down. There goes Anton by over that floater. So Leah with a little bit of bad luck in that bull turn. It's early in the race, so we're only 35 seconds in. It's Anton and Leah. Anton in the all yellow, yellow wheels off that straightaway. Oh no, Leah puts it upside down again. 
coming onto the straightaway has to get marshaled out. So Leah, well, it looks like she got a new paint job. Working away through that center section over that floated over by that start finish line. The gap was 4.1, is now 5.9. So early on in this race, Anton's got a huge lead, but he's gonna have to put his head down and continue to put down decent laps because the hard charging Leah Anderson can make up that time quick. Anton got a little bit wrong there, had to get marshaled out, so the gap is now 3.7. So Anton's doing his best to hang on with hard charging. Leah, Leah ran into a gaggle of mistakes there. See if she could settle in and put down some good laps. A minute 40 in, gap was 3.7. It's gonna be a lot less now. It is now 1.6. Oh, and then Leah gives it up again, puts it up on her lid. So Anton putting down some clean laps. So slow and steady is winning the race at this point. Let's see if Leah's got what it takes to reel him in. Right now, Anton enjoying a 4.9 second lead with two in, three to go. Anton pushed a little wide going off that straightaway there. That allowed Leah to make up quite a bit of time. It was 4.9. It is 1.9. So we've seen this before where she has gained some serious ground. Let's see if she can make it stick. Anton just trying to throw down them nice consistent laps as he has been doing and it is working out for him so far. 1.9 was the gap and here comes Leah down to 1.2. Through the rumble section they go into that chicane. Two minutes left. Oh no, Anton puts it upside down, hooks a pipe. That allows Leah to finally get around. So Leah put in the work and put her head down, was able to get around Anton. So Anton's just gonna try to put his head down, run those laps he's been running, see what happens, see what he can do. Keep pick up the pieces here with a minute 40 left. These guys have been running good so far. Leah with a little bit of bobble, but leaves a rubber side down. Anton is able to catch up just slightly. So they work their way through that chicane up onto that straightaway. Three point nine is the gap right now. Leah's out front and trying to stretch out there. She comes down the straightaway. Anton comes onto the straightaway. Whoa! Leah goes wide, almost gets caught by. Uh, Van Wagner One and then she left. spins it around again. So a series of mistakes and here comes Anton. 3.9 was a gap, it is now 0.5 seconds. 45 seconds left on the clock. And they're on the same stretch, so these two cars have been having quite a race with one another. Two different styles of racing here. We'll see which one pans out here. There's Leah over that rumble strip. There's Anton over that rumble strip. 31 seconds. They're going to get around for a couple more. Our uh, race number six is coming up next. They're there, neck and neck, 22 seconds. Double single out of Anton. Gets into the pipes, has to marshal himself out. They both get by. This is going to be their last lap with 13 seconds left. Whoever crosses the finish line first will be victorious in this sportsman class. Leah's got a pretty decent lead here. About a straightaway, but anything can happen in this center section. Leah throws it down nice and smooth. Anton bobbles just a tad. There goes Leah by taking that win. And there's Anton by that win. Close racing. Close racing. That was good work out of both of you for uh, two two car dance there. That is a race. Marshall's grab your blowers. Marshall's grab your blowers. We're going to need several volunteer marshals for this race number six. Several volunteer marshals along with Leah and Anton.
Hey, uh, Willie or Richard, will you put a, a little bit of Willie's on for me? Papa Willie's on my car. Will you put Papa Willie's on my car, please? All four, preferably. No heat. Unless you want to breathe on them, but no heat, just Papa Willie's. Jeez. One, One minute, minute to start, start the race. race. All right, go ahead and roll them out. Check them in, boys and girls. Forty-five seconds to start the race. Lane Anderson. All right, in the nine, Mike Baxter in the eight, Mike Brubaker in the seven, Anton Morissette in the six, Mike Soar in the five, Leah Anderson in that four Andrew spot. Mike Brett Baxter. Kaiser in the three, Lee the race. in the two, Lee Dan Collinsworth and your BQ for the night, Andrew Manicozzi. We're gonna have Lee the last one down the straightaway if he so chooses. No. All right. Go ahead and grid them up. Boys and girls, go ahead and race. grid them up. Uh, thank you to our volunteer marshals. I really appreciate it. Can we get one more? I want one more up on the rumble strip on top of the hill. Let's just be main here. Can we get one volunteer marshal, one volunteer marshal up on top of the hill? <clears throat> one volunteer marshal, please. Can we get one volunteer marshal? Vinny. Vinny's going to do it. I don't, oh, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't need you, Zach. Thank you, though. I just, well, I want someone up there on top of that rumble strip, because that's going to get hairy. Uh, Brett Kaiser, where you at? Did you go home? All right, no, Brett Kaiser, Mitch Brubaker. All right, and we know Nicholas Finch went home. All right, race number six, 21-5, B-May, keep it clean. Let's get it on at the sound of the tone. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Minicozzi gets it up on two wheels, settles it back down, drops several spots. Oh, Collinsworth swings it wide, gives up a spot. Who is that? That's Lee out front. So Lee taking advantage, and that's Leah fighting out for that two spot with Collinsworth. Collinsworth and Leah coming by that start finish line right now. So it's Lee, Dan, Leah, Andrew Medicozzi, Anton, Baxter, Sora. Leah gets a little wrong, drops a couple of spots. That allows Dan Collinsworth moving to that two spot. Medicozzi fights his way back into that three spot. So Medicozzi, Leah, and Collinsworth are battling it out. And there's Anton coming up on that mix as well. Right now, Lee is out front. Leah in the two spot. Collinsworth and Minicozzi and Anton all in that mix there through that bull turn. Baxter trying to get in that hunt as well. So 120 and 340 to go. Lee goes the hard way up onto that straightaway but stays out front. Leah coming down that straightaway as well. Minicozzi in that three spot. I didn't see what happened to Dan. Dan fell hard, he's way down, then he flips it over, lands on his wheels, but loses time, and there's Anton holding strong, I believe in that five spot, trying to set his sights on Mr. Baxter. Max Baxter found his way into that four spot. So we got some close racing here, Lee out front. Leah got the speed, trying to close that gap. Menicozzi trying to throw down some good laps as well to stay in that hunt, we're only taking two. And there goes Lee down that straight in the pink. Leah in the pink. And then we got Andrew in the blue and black. So one, two, three, four are all separated by about the same distance. Oh, no, Lee puts it wrong down in the valley. He's going to have to get marshaled out and lose two spots. Leah moves to the one. Andrew Minicozzi finds his way back up into that two spot. Baxter was closing in on Lee, but then Baxter got it wrong. Andrew having a tough time with that kicker double. He's putting it out into the weeds. So he lost a spot again. 
So now Lee is in the one. Lee puts it upside down. That allows Andrew. So Andrew taking advantage of some mistakes to make up for mistakes of his own. Lee in that one. Someone sends it out of bounds for a two-struck penalty. That was Mr. Sora, I believe. Anton, that went out of bounds as well. That's going to be a leader coming up on you, Mr. Collinsworth. That's Lee Anderson in that one spot. Andrew Minicosi in the two. Mike Baxter moves into that three spot. Scratch that. That was Lee getting around. Lee got around for that three spot. So Lee and Baxter battling it out, trying to catch Andrew Minicosi. Lee, Leah is lengthening her stride. She's off that straightaway right now. And number two is coming on the straightaway right now. Followed by three and four. So two, three, and four all going through that center section of the track. Andrew Benicozzi trying to sort things out. Lee with a full head of speed coming into that rumble section. Baxter trying to get in the mix as well. Someone got it wrong going on the straightaway. That was Lee. So Andrew's going to be able to breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief there. Getting a little bit of ground, holding off Lee. Now it's Lee and Baxter going at it by that start finish line. Right now it's Lee. Baxter's in the hunt. Leah's got a five second lead right now. 50 seconds remain. Oh, Baxter spins it around. That allows Lee to lengthen his stride. He's gonna have to put in some work if he wants to catch Andrew. Andrew by that start finish line. Gap was 3.1. It is. Scratch that is 3.9. The gap is 3.9. Sora throws in the towel and calls it a race there. After running into some bad luck, there's Lee or Leah by the start finish line. Puts it upside down. Here comes Andrew. Andrew moves into that one spot. Leah had a huge lead. I didn't see what happened, but she must have tripped up and messed up earlier on because that one put it. Oh no. Manicozzi puts it upside down. And here comes Lee back in the hunt. One, two, and three. This is going to be it. Whoever crosses the line, this is the order that you will finish. One, two, and three. Leah gets by. Andrew Minicosa gets by, and Lee makes a hard charge and can't quite do it. Ends up in that three spot. Good racing there at the end. Baxter's going to have to settle for that four. Collinsworth still finishing out his lap through that bull turn. He goes, and Dan finishes it out in that five spot. That is a race. All race stop, all stop. Leah Anderson and Andrew Minicosi, you two are bumping up into that A main event. Later on in the evening, we're gonna put a little water down and get race number seven underway.
Nolan Keller, Crowley, Ryan Regal, Diego Baden Kerr, Alan Dreeving, Mike Coco, student driver. All right, we got an all star cast Dan up Hollins on the driver's stand Randy right Hawkins. now. Any one of these guys can walk away with a transfer spot. Give you guys a few seconds to uh, sort it out. Oh, Daniel H. Collinsworth. Sorry, buddy, you're busted up, bud. What is it? Does somebody have a tie rod that uh, Dan Collinsworth can borrow real quick? He's good for it. All right, let's see if we can uh, get Dan sorted out here. If you guys feel good, go ahead and start gridding them up in that 10 spot. Alan Drebby in the 9, Nick Bayette in the 8, Mike Cocott in the 7, race. Diego Bentcor in the 6, Dan Collinsworth in the 5, Randy Lockett in the 4, Ryan Regal in the 3, William Mara in the 2, Ethan Kowalski and your beekeeper for tonight, Nolan Whitley. 45, 45 seconds, seconds to start, start the race. race. Thirty seconds, seconds to, to start, start the race. race. Leah, you're gonna be comfortable working that area right there. All right. Anton, you're in the chicane. Uh, uh, what do we got the underneath the driver stand? We need a uh, marshal under the driver stand, and then I want one. Yes, thank you, Mr. Nielsen. If you'll take under the driver stand. And I want one up on that rumble strip as well, up on top of the hill. Uh, Tucker is going to slide over underneath the driver's stand, and Mr. Nielsen, just take the top of the hill there. Oh, yeah, we do need one on the bucket here. Mr. Bancourt, will you uh, – oh, no, your son's watching. Never mind. Stay up there. Your son's racing. Can we get one on the bucket, please? <clears throat> Let's get a marshal on the bucket, please. Jerry, thank you very much. Hey, Paul, I don't need your help. Thank you, though. <clears throat> All right, Dan's going to run his 21.5 on a half battery. Well, he just wants he just wants to race. All right, everyone gather around this 17.5 B main. All right, boys, you guys know the drill. Keep it clean. Come out swinging. Let's get it on at the sound of the tone. All right, decent start, decent start. Transponder a boy. I like you jumping out there, getting those sick cars out. Oh, Mar gets a hung up. Willie's out front. Randy Lockin makes some strides, moves into that two spot. Ethan in the three. Ethan goes huge, but out of bounds for a two-stroke penalty. Somehow hangs on to that number three spot. Not anymore. Oh, him and Rigo getting into it. Rigo's upside down. Ethan's got to get marshaled. Dribby's got to get marshaled out. So we got Willie. And Randy Lockin trying to check out here. Dan Callsworth's in the three spot with his 21.5 car. Diego found his way up into that four spot after getting tangled up there in the beginning turn. There's Ethan and Regal and Drebby. And then we got Cocott and Mara rounding out the field there. Whitley's lengthening out his stride as he comes by that start finish line. Picking up where he left off he took quite a bit of hiatus there but he was always a fast kid watch that center section watch the center section watch the center section got one upside down in that center section transponder four four zero seven seven eight nine. clear that was coca getting it wrong mara puts it upside down he's got to get marshaled out 
So everyone's having a tough time. And you got your leader coming up on you, Drebby and Collinsworth. I'm not really sure who's in that two spot. Ethan and Regal just cannot get away from each other. They both get into it midair there. Get tangled up again. Both of them have to get marshaled out. That allows Nolan and Whitley. Uh, Wh Collinsworth, that's uh, your leader coming up on you. One and two. Please let them go by. Thank you very much. Game on, game on. So Whitley lost quite a bit of his lead there. Randy Lockin in the hunt. Who's in that three spot? Ryan Regal somehow in that three spot, even after getting into it with Ethan a couple times there. They are way back there. Let's see where they're at when they come by that start finish line. Halfway down, halfway to go. No, really looking good. That was Lockin catching an edge, flipping it over. It's going to lose quite a bit of ground there, but we still have Ryan Regal and Ethan in that 2-3 spot, or that 3-4 spot, I should say. And they are way out of the hunt right now. They're working their way through that center section. Two minutes left. Ethan puts it upside down. Regal puts it upside down. Yeah, Coca and Collinsworth coming in hot. Coca puts it upside down. Drebby and Diego get into each other. Yikes. So our top two drivers, really the only ones, acting like they want a piece of this A main. Yikes. Watch on that. Uh, that's a bad spot to flip over there, Dan. I've done that before. So there is Whitley coming off that straightaway. And there is Lockin coming off that straightaway. So Randy Lockin enjoying a 15.4 second lead over third place with a minute 13 to go. One and two can back it down and just get through these laps and finish it out. They've got it all sewn up, barring a disaster. There's Whitley through that bull turn. That is uh, your leader working with you there, Mr. Collinsworth. Thank you very much, sir. And then Randy is working up on Regal. Of course, Regal can throw down some hot laps there, but that's going to be your second place driver there. Regal and Ethan still going at it. So uh, right now, Lockins the meat in the Regal Ethan sandwich. Regal puts it sideways, puts it backwards. There's Ethan. Ethan gets around him. That's going to be your closest race for that 3 4 with 29 seconds left. Now oh, Regal puts it upside down. That allows Ethan to lengthen his stride there in that three spot. So with 20 seconds left, Nolan. Where's he at? Coming on the straightaway, there he is in the all blue, white associated car. Locking, coming on the straight right now. So Nolan's got a 6.2 lead over Randy. It's going to be Nolan and Randy. You'll be done when you cross that start finish line. Alan Drebby, you are done. Ethan, you are done. Randy, you are done. All right, we're waiting on Diego and our winner, Nolan Whitley. Nolan Whitley, Randy Lock, and you'll be advancing into that A main. Everyone else is done. That is a race. That is a race. All stop. All stop. The race is completed. Uh, Nolan and Randy will have you uh, marshal the next round. If we can get you for stadium truck, that'll give you an opportunity to go clean up your cars. Marshals, thank you for grabbing your blowers. Oh, everyone from race seven, with the exception of Nolan and Randy, we need you out on the track. Find yourself a spot, and we'll get our stadium truck up and going. All right, we can go get our blowers down. Blowers down. Still, stand by, stand by. All right, race number eight, go ahead and roll them out, check them in. Tipping. 
guess we had all of our stadium truck drivers turn into pumpkins and go home. We only got three of the five. I think Joe Brooks went home. Jason Baxter. All right, where are all of our 17.5 drivers? All right, I think we're settled Brian up Davis. here. All right, back straight is closed. Back straight is closed. We'll get Richard Lakin. Uh, let's stretch that. We'll have Brian Davis in the three spot, Jason Baxter in the two, and Richard Lake on the pole. His One debut with his race. stadium truck. <laughs> have you been drinking? 45 seconds to the start of the race. There we go. All right. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Stadium truck Amy coming at you. 30 seconds. At the to sound the of the tone. And they're off. Stadium truck A main. All right. Lake Davis Baxter. Davis puts it upside down. I'll Baxter to go around in that two spot. So we got a guaranteed podium finish here, just where racing for pride at this point. There goes Lake by that start finish line. Baxter by the start finish line. And here comes Davis by that start finish line. So 40 seconds into this five minute heat. Oh, Lake puts it upside down. There goes Baxter into that one spot. No, oh, Baxter gets it wrong, puts it into the weeds, and the lake goes flying by. Says, see, I'll take that spot back. Through the rumble strip he goes, followed by Baxter. So one and two going on that straightaway. It's the all yellow with the yellow wheels. Associated T6 on the AKA drip. By that start finish line he goes. Baxter in that two spot. Yellow wheels, blue and white body. And then Davis rounding out the field in that three spot. With the blue, white, yellow, white wheels. Through that chicane he goes. Pops it up onto that straightaway. Down the straightaway he goes. Spins a donut for the fans. Gets it back rolling. I believe that's a TLR truck there. So our order is Lake Baxter Davis. Two minutes in, three to go. Race number nine, our short course A main is coming up next. Halfway down, halfway to go. Richard Lake out front. Jason Baxter in that two spot. 15 seconds back. They've got Brian Davis, 6.6 .6 behind Jason Baxter. Richard Lake throwing down some nice fast laps. He's got that truck dialed in the way he likes it. Two minutes left. There goes Lake by the start finish line. He, I think believe he put a lap on the field there with uh, passing Baxter there. Baxter puts it upside down, rolls back up on his wheels, and then Lake puts it upside down. Gets marshaled out and is back at it again. So he lost that lap that he gained on Baxter. Let's see if he can get it back here in the closing uh, 80. 
80 seconds here. And he does just like that. All right, I'll take a ride with our Saturday race director, Richard Lake. <laughs> Put it upside down. Maybe not. Yeah, we're going to reset that. I ain't calling that. All right, Lake in the one, Baxter in the two, Davis in that three spot, Mitch Brubaker in the four, and Joseph Brooks rounding out the field in the five spot. They're here in spirit. All right, let's try this again. There's our leader by the start finish line, the all yellow T6 associated Reedy Power on the AKA rubber. Through the rumble strip, he goes through the chicane, says hello to the pipe, says, Get off me. I got big wheels. I can handle this. Pitches a little Tokyo drift off that straightaway. Nice smooth over that triple. Up the kicker, over the floater by that start finish line. There we go. 23 seconds, 22 seconds left, 22 seconds left. We'll see if one and two can get around for another one. They got 14 seconds to do so. Looks like Richard's going to do it. Let's see if Baxter can do it. Looks like Baxter's going to do it as well. So they're both going to get around for their victory lap, or their one, two lap. Everyone else will be done when you cross that line. Modified A main is coming up next. So in the three spot, Brian Davis by that start finish line, you are done. And there's your winner, Richard Lake, going by that start finish line, taking the win. Jason Baxter working his way through that bull turn to round out the race here, taking that two spot. That is a race all stop, all stop. Marshalls, grab your blowers. Uh, I was a little premature there. It's our uh, short course A main is coming up next. Not our modified. So we need those three stadium truck drivers. Along with a handful of volunteers to help us out, please. And we'll get our short course underway here. This is gonna be another three car dance. All right, short course knuckleheads. Go ahead and roll them out, check them in. Wait a minute. I see shenanigans up on the driver's stand. I'm gonna let it slide though. All right, let's get some marshals out here. We need uh, several volunteer marshals out on the track, please. We got Nolan out here volunteering. Thank you very much. Diego Bittenker. All right, no one, one else down the, the straightaway. No one else down the Andrew straightaway Joyner. in that three spot. Andrew Joyner Vinny in the two, Soli. Diego Bancor, and in the one, Vinny Pandersoli. Or Vinny Lamb. Or Lyle Pandersoli. 45 seconds to the start All of the race. All right, we need some we need some marshals out here, boys and girls. We need some marshals out on the track. Racing will not continue until we get racer uh, marshals out on the track. Nice, we got Matt. Coming on out here, we got Tucker. 30 seconds to the start of the race. And we got one of the lamb girls out here. Thank you very much. So we need one underneath the driver's stand and then one coming on to the straight there, yeah. Uh, you know what, um, can we take the top of the rumble strip, please? 15 seconds to the start of the race. And I want to keep someone up there in our, our higher mains there just because it gets a little rough there. Thank you very much. All Less right. Than five. Marshals ready, drivers ready. Let's go racing at the sound of the tone. Lyle Pendersoli out front here. It's gonna lead that first one by that line. So we're still one, two, three. Andrew falling off just a little bit. Diego's trying to sneak his nose in there and gets it the easy way because Pendersoli goes for a tumble. That allows Joyner to make a move for that two spot, and he takes it. They both, Pendersoli goes huge. Joyner goes double single. They both get into each other. So Lyle stays out front in that one spot, or in that two spot. Diego was holding strong in that two. Scratch that in the one. I'm multitasking right now. So Diego out front, he goes by that start finish line. Then it's Lyle Lamb and Andrew Joyner. That is your order, one, two, three. We are one minute into this five minute main.
There's Diego standing tall, going through that chicane. I'm gonna have you stand by the panda one of these days. I think you're growing. There he is off that straightaway, working his way through that center section, goes huge. Floats it over that triple, over the kicker. By the start finish line, he goes. He's got a 7.2 gap. Let's see where he's at right now. Lyle found his way back into that two spot. Never mind, he's always been in that two spot. And Joyner rounding out the field in that three spot. That's your closest battle right now. Diego's got an eight second lead right now on this two spot. So two and three is gonna be your closest battle with a minute 50 in. Three ten to go. Two wheel modified coming up next. Lyle puts it upside down. Joyner was nowhere to be found to take advantage. Lyle gets it wrong again, lands on his feet. Joyner goes out and spins a donut in my graffiti. I don't know how I feel about that. Diego's enjoying a nice comfy lead. He keeps stretching it out. He is 12.6 on the number two. Lyle starting to string together some decent laps here as he comes down that straightaway. Getting his feelers for this short course truck. Two minutes left. By the start finish line, he goes. He's got 11.2, or 11 flat, I should say, over Andrew. Oh. Baxter takes one for the team there. That's what I like to see. So we got Diego, Lyle. Joiners are earning order. 135 left, 135 left. All right, we got four down, one to go. Diego with a hefty lead. Lyle with a hefty lead. Joiner, no one's gonna challenge him for that three spot. One minute left. Lyle seeing what the, uh, what the old short course truck can do off road. He plows through some out of bounds area. Comes out, wheels down. 30 seconds left, 30 seconds left. Diego, if you don't get around for another lap, you lose. Automatic fourth place. All right, there is Diego. Let's see if he can do it. He's got five seconds. Oh, easy. All right. Diego's going to take his victory lap there. Everyone else is going to be done when you cross that line. Andrew, you are done in that three spot. Here comes Lyle working his way through that center section. Along with Diego, Lyle's going to take that two spot by the start finish line. And Diego. Going huge, catches some wind and flips over. Takes the win in short course. That is a race, that is a race. I'll stop, I'll stop. Marshals, grab your blowers. We're gonna need all three U drivers plus a handful of volunteers out on the track for our two wheel modified A main. Kevin Gatton. We can get a handful of volunteers out on the track, please. We only had three in that last race.
All right, we're going to get our blowers down. Blowers down. One minute to the start of the race. I am girls over here Jim listening Sylvie. to Easy E. Go ahead and roll them out. Check them in. Two wheel modified. I need my body. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Kyle Davis. Spicy Meat. Ryan Collar. Ryan Prince. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Vinny Pedia Soli. Zipping. All right. Uh, Aaron's going to be the last one down the straight. No one else down the straight. No one else down the straight. You guys know where you sit on the grid. Go ahead and grid them up. Fifteen seconds to the start They're of the race. They're walking up to the stand. Less than five. All right in that eight spot, Vinny Penasoli for reals. Yes, Vinny is actually up there. In the seven, Ryan Caller. In the six, Richard Lake. In the five, Kyle Davis. In the four, Jim Silva. In the three, Ryan Prince. In the two, Riley Wortman. And our top qualifier for the night, Kevin Gatton. Oh, yeah, Paul Weir and Aaron Brown. You're in the back there somewhere. That didn't show. I don't know why that didn't show up there. Let's see if we can get you a drag and drop in here. Move driver to race. Wrong way driver. There you go. Aaron Brown. Oh, yeah. Paul, you're in the nine. Aaron's in the 10. You better write that in your diary when you get home, Paul. All right, my racing nerds. Uh, Marshall's ready. We got Tucker there. What do we got up there? One in the chicane, Tucker's got that one. Uh, so, Mr. Nielsen, I want you to take up on top on the rumble strip, more to the right, and we need one in that chicane. Can we get one volunteer marshal into that chicane? That's a nice, easy spot. Right over there in that blue cone. Right over there in that blue cone. Alan Drebby's gonna step up. Thank you, Alan. I saw every one of you who made eye contact with me and ignored me. Yeah, you're one of them, uh-huh. You're another one, too. Pit mate. All right, Marshall's ready, driver's ready. Let's keep it clean. Let's go racing to the sound of the tone. All right, Mod A main underway. Nice, clean start. Out of boys, out of boys. Oh, Richard Lake slaps the back, goes upside down, falls to the back there. He's got to make up some time there. Who's still out front? It is Gatton and Wortman out front. Ryan Prince in that three spot. There's Sylvain in that four, the Kyle Davis. And then Vinny worked his way up there. Is that Paul Weir? That is Paul Weir in that six spot, making some grounds up. Aaron Brown puts it upside down on that bull turn and drops a spot. One, two, three, working their way through that center section. Gatton, oh, Wortman puts it upside down, lands on his wheels though. Yikes, Paul Weir sends one out to the fans. Let's see if he gets it back, he does. All right, we got uh, Gatton out front. Prince moves into that two spot off that Wortman bobble. Watching the bull, watching the bull, watching the bull. It is clear, one, two, and three coming in. Prince gets it wrong into the pipes. Marshals himself out, one, two, and three coming up on you, Mr. Brown, thank you very much. Kyle Davis, Silve, Caller, Vinny. Lakes found his way back up into the mix, so we got a good race going out of everybody. Gatton falls off the pace. I didn't see what happened there, but he got it wrong. That move, Ryan Prince into that one spot. Wortman's in that two. Gatton in the three. Kyle Davis in the four, and then it's Silve, Caller, Lake, Vinny. Paul Weir and Aaron Brown rounds out the field. So I'm gonna keep an eye on our leaders here. That's Ryan Prince through that bull turn. Wortman through the bull turn. Gatton through the bull turn. Some put her upside down, and now that was Kyle Davis. He was up there competing for some spots there. And then Vinny get into it a little bit. Oh, no, Kyle gets it wrong on that rumble strip. Someone gets it wrong going on that straightaway. That was Kevin again, so he's going to drop a spot. That's going to move Sylvia into that three spot. And there's Richard Lake after that rough start. He's found himself in the hunt for that three spot. Right now, Sylvia's got the three spot. Gann's got the five or four. 
Lakes got the five. Three and four going through that center section, through the bowl turn. Prince gets it wrong, spins it sideways. Riley wasn't quite close enough to take advantage there. They are one and two going through that bowl turn. Ryan's trying to keep his car nice and wide, and it's right now he's doing so. One and two working their way through that chicane up onto that straightaway. Prince pushes a little sideways again going on that straightaway, but keeps it nose front through the bull turn. They go one and two. We are two minutes in, three to go. There's Sylvain Gatton going at it. Richard Lake in the hunt. After he brushes Paul Weir aside. Paul Weir had a little rough one there. Luckily, he didn't collect anybody in the mix. So that battle for three through that bull turn. One and two, three and four, both have their battles going on. Prince having a few bobbles, but Prince doing a good job at taming it. Staying out front right there. Him and Worley going at it. And then we got Gatton and Silve going at it. Uh, Vinny, you're going to have one and two coming up on you pretty quick here. Riley got around Prince. I didn't see how that transpired. Gatton got around Silve. Oh, Riley put it upside down. Prince reclaims that lead. Riley falls back to the two, and there's Gatton coming up on the back door of Riley right now with the middle left. And minute Lake left. goes big, gets around Silve. So Lake moves around and moves into that three spot with 55 seconds left. Silve looks at this, I can't quite do it. Gets on the brakes. So where are we at? Uh, I apologize, Lake's in the four. Oh, Gatton puts it upside down. Lands it right on the snowman. He's gonna drop down two spots there. We got all kinds of carnage going on here. Trying to keep track here. There is the leader, Ryan Prince, going down that straightaway. Riley Wortman in that two spot, coming up on Paul Weir. And it looks like Lake finally got into that three spot. He got in that three spot after that mess up by Kevin Gatton. And Silve's in that four. Then we got Gatton in the five. Davis. Pendersley, Weir, Brown, you guys will be done when you cross that line. Davis again, you Brown, hey, you are done. Everyone else keep going. Everyone else keep going. There is Lake by that start finish line, taking that three spot. Ryan Prince taking the win. Riley in that two. Silve, Caller, you're still going. Where is Caller? There's Caller through that bull turn. He's our last racer. That is a race. Oh, stop, I'll stop. Good race, gentlemen. Ryan Prince taking that win. Riley in that two. Richard in the three. The race is completed. 21-5 A main coming up next. Marshalls, grab your blowers. Marshalls, grab your blowers. We're gonna get all those modified drivers out on the track, please. All right, 21-5, A-Main drivers, go ahead and roll them out, check them in. Roll them out, check them in. One minute to the start of the race. All right, straight away is closed, straight away is closed in that 10 spot. Andrew Minicosi in the 9, Leah the Anderson the in the 8, Robert Mike Keller in the 7, Kevin, Kevin Cornwell. Cornwell. Leigh Anderson. In the six, Mike Alex and Goley in the Andrew five, Mike Cocott in the four, Richard Mike Graham taking the scratch Alex in the three, Les Anderson in the two, Robert Morgan, and your top qualifier in 21 five, Zach McConnell. Three seconds to the start of the race. Thank you, Marshalls, for hopping on out here. And we got one up on the Rumble Strip. Very good, very good. All right. 
Let's get everything gridded up here. Leave that four spot open. 15 seconds to the start of the race. All right, Marshall's on your toes. Drivers, keep it clean. Less than five. Let's get it on at the sound of the tone. Race number 11, 21.5 A main is up and underway. Decent start. Someone got it out in the weeds there. I think that was Les Anderson getting it out in the weeds, but saves it. It's McConnell and Morgan. That's in Goglia in that three spot. Less in the four. Oh, Cornwell. Rails it up on two wheels, pull, puts it over. Zach McConnell gets it wrong in that bowl section. Gets a quick Marshall though, only, oh no, I'm sorry, that wasn't Zach McConnell, or was it? It was, I didn't see what happened, sorry about that. Morgan moves into that one spot. Less tries to move into the two, gives up a spot. And Goglia moves into the two, Less settles for that three spot for now. We are 45 seconds in, and we got a whole bunch of cars in the mix for that four spot. Make sure we keep everything clean there. I know that's hard to do with a handful of cars saying the same portion of the track. Mike Callers having a little bit of body problems there. Let's see how that works out for him. McConnell trying to make up for lost time. He's in that, looks like the five spot right now. Oh, that's Cocott with a new body. You had me confused there. Robert Morgan out front, Cocott in the two. Les Anderson in the three. Alex and Goglia in the four. Scratch that, Zach McConnell in the four. Then we got Cornwell, Alex, Minicozzi, Caller, Anderson rounding out the field. Uh, Caller and Minicozzi, those are your two leaders right there. Medicos, you're gonna have your leader working up on you. Two won't be far behind. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, Morgan gets it wrong, puts it out in the weeds. Gonna have to get Marshall out. He's gonna lose two spots right there. That allows Cocott to get in the lead. Cocott rolls it over, doesn't lose his spot though. By that start finish line, he goes. Les Anderson moves into that two spot. So we got Medicos and Caller battling out for a spot while they have Second and third rolling up on him here. So you guys know what to do. You see a leader working up on you. I'll try and call him out there. So right now, Cocott's out front. It's got nothing but clean air out in front of him. In that two spot is Les Anderson, and he's got to deal with Manicozzi and just Manicozzi right now. So that's going to be number two rolling up on you, Manicozzi, when he gets up to you. You know what to do, Robert Morgan, who was in the lead, flips it over and falls back. I'm not sure how many spots he fell back. Three down, two to go, Mike Cocott out front, Les Anderson in two the two, Zach McConnell in the three. 17-5 A mains gonna be coming at you here in just a few minutes after this race. Two minutes left, we got Cocott out front, Anderson in the two, McConnell worked his way back up into the three, Mar Morgan in the four. And you go in the five. Then we got Leah Anderson, Andrew Minicozzi, Mike Caller, and Kevin Cornwell rounding out the field. There is one and two working their way through that center section. Zach McConnell in the hunt as well. So after falling back a little bit, Zach McConnell's starting to salivate. Look at his chops. He sees the two position there, but he's going to have to win it from Les Anderson. And he ain't no slouch, all Les Anderson gets it wrong, puts it in the pipe. That allows Zach to get around. So in that lap, Zach was able to get around. Moving out of that two spot, he's going to set his sights, see if him and Les can work together to reel in. One minute left. Cocott in the light blue TLR white wheels through that center section he goes. With 53 seconds left, a little bit of bobble out of Cocott, but he keeps it rubber side down by that start finish line. One, two, and three are all separated by less than a second. Zach's trying to saddle up on him. Gets into a little bit, but relents all, oh, and then Zach puts it upside down, rolls it, has to get squared away. He's down in the marbles. He's gonna fall back quite a bit from one and two. So all that work down the tubes there, but he's still in that three spot. Cocott hanging on to that one, less in that two spot. Zach's gonna try to make up as much time as he can. They, all three of those might get around for another one. 
working their way through that center section. And they will. There goes one and two and three. This is going to be the final lap for those top three drivers. Everyone else keep going until I say the timer is up. One, two, onto the straightaway. Keep going strong. You got one and two working their way through that center section. You're going to be done when you cross that line. Everyone keep going. No. Oh, no. Oh, Cocott barely made it through. Leah did everything she could to take out old Pops. Zach McConnell moves into the two. That wasn't Leah's fault. She got it wrong. All right, that is the race. All stop, all stop, taking that win. Mike Cocott, Zach in the two, Les Anderson in the three. The race is completed. 17-5, A main, coming at you next. Jimmy left. Let's go get our blowers down. Blowers down. Race number 12, 17 5. A main event. You can roll them out. Check them in. Drivers from race number 11. I need you to around the track to corner Marshall. Drivers from race 11. Head around track Marshall. Qualifying in the 10 spot. Randy Lockett in the 9. Nolan Whitley the in the 8. Jimmy Leff in the 7. Riley Wortman in the 6. Kyla Cornwell in the 5. Thomas Herb in the 4. Chase Boyd in the 3. Ryan Caller in the 2. Willie Smith in on the pole. Will will be Smith. Aaron Brown. Brown. Marshall's to your spots. Shouldn't Nolan be looking for any volunteers. Shouldn't be looking for any volunteers. Spicy meat. With that being Thomas said, Red straightaway Morgan. is closed. Straightaway is closed. Straightaway is closed. Marshals your spots. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Oh, hey, uh, Cowler there, Cornwell there, Morgan there, Diego. You want to help me out at the top of the hill on the rumble stretch for me? 15 seconds to the start of the race. That's what you get for hanging out on the side of the track. All right. 17-5, A-man event. B squad Less on the five. microphone. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. You guys are going to be going at the sound of the tone. And we're locked and loaded. Brown going to lead us out. Restart, restart, restart. The top two guys were gone. The last six were in a bunch right here. You are. Come on up. All right then. Shut your hole. Try and make it through the first turn, shall we? You guys know the gig. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. With that being said, at the sound of the tone. Much better. And still same result. But hey, I don't know what I'm doing. Aaron Brown leading out. Willie Smith in the two. Chase Boyd in the three. Herb in the four. Wortman, Cornwell, Drebby. Marshall's keep an eye on your areas. There, Brown gonna be leading us out. Willie Smith in the two, Chase Boyd in the three, Thomas Urban the four, Wortman. Got a rear view mirror full of Cornwell. Wortman hooking up a pipe. Cornwell trying to go around the outside, not able to capitalize. Leffler looking to the inside, not able to get by on that. Aaron Brown gonna be leading us out. TLR 2250DC. Willie Smith in that two, Chase Boyd in the three, Urban the four. 
Third and fourth going out and coming down that front straightaway. Meanwhile, Aaron Brown starting to stretch it out. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth. Gap between everybody else. Leffler getting sent into the weeds. And then everybody getting together in the center section. That was Lockin and Whitley getting into it. Looked like. Couldn't really tell. A couple blue cars. Watch coming down back straightaway. That was Wortman, Cornwell, and Herb. Meanwhile, your leader putting up on two wheels. That is Aaron Brown. Gets it wrong in front of the driver's stand. Willie Smith knocking on the back door. Chase Boyd in the three. Looks like Wortman in the four. Thank you, Diego. Cornwell putting it upside down. Marshall off the end of straightaway. Marshall off the end of straightaway. That was Aaron Brown getting it wrong off the end of straightaway. Manicosi right there to get him. But he's going to drop back to the top four now. Smith leading out. Boyd in the two. Wortman in the three. Brown in the four. Herb, Cornwell, and Caller. Wortman getting it wrong, coming down the front straightaway. Herb trying to close in under braking. So first, second, third, and fourth, fifth, and sixth. Working their way by the start finish line right now. Caller in the seven. Caller putting it upside down. Whitley in the eight. Locking in the nine. Leffler in the ten. Watch coming on the front straightaway. That was Cornwell and Herb getting into it. Watch on the front straightaway. Outside, 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 outside on the front straightaway. It is clear. Back up front. Willie Smith leading out. Chase Boyd in the two. Watching the bull turn, guys. Watching the bull turn. It is clear. Smith off the end straightaway. Boyd off the end straightaway. Brown off the end straightaway. Wortman off the end straightaway. With 2.30 in, 2.30 to go. Smith and Boyd down the back straightaway they go. It is going to be Willie Smith leading out. Cornwell, oh, lock and break in the back end of the car. Watch my start finish line. Thank you, Andrew. Set it down. Set it down. It is broken. You're not going to pop that back on. Two minutes left. Have a good holiday. <laughs> when the rear wheel is at a 45 degree angle, that's not going to get fixed. Watch my start finish line, guys. It is clear. Cornwell and Herb going at it with Leffler in the five, in the nine. Willie Smith in front of the driver's stand. Boyd in front of the driver's stand. Brown in front of the driver's stand. Wortman in front of the driver's stand. So first, second, third, and fourth coming down that back straightaway right now. Watch it coming on front straightaway. Wortman getting it upside down. That's going to drop him off the lead pack with 3.30 in, 1.30 to go. Watch come down the front straightaway, guys. It is clear. 340 in, 120 to go. Watch off the end of straightaway. It is clear. That will be a leader working there, Jimmy Left. Please hold your line. And leader and leader in front of you, Kyler, and second and third behind you. Let's keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. Leffler and Cornwell going at it. Oh, Smith getting it wrong in no man's land. Caller. Nope, that wasn't Smith. Sorry about that. All blue. Too many blue cars out there. Willie Smith leading out. Coming by start finish line right now. Boyd in the two. Brown knocking on the back door of Boyd. They're coming up on left. We got second and third. Mr. Boyd, I can call traffic. I am calling it. You too. Willie Smith leading out. Boyd in that two. Brown in the three. Watch it in the bull turn. Watching the bull turn. It is clear. 4.45 in. 15 seconds to go. Willie Smith coming up on Herb. And Whitley. That will be a leader working with you guys. Chase Boyd in that two. Aaron Brown in the three. He's about a half straight away back with less than five. Time will be expiring. Everyone will be done when you cross our finish line. Keep them rolling, drivers. Keep them rolling. Caller, you're done. Oh, that is going to be a race. Boyd almost coming on the last second and waiting on one, and that is a race. I'll stop, I'll stop. Willie Smith taking the win. Boyd in the two. Brown, Wortman, Caller, Herb, Cornwell, Leffler, and Whitley rounding out my top nine. Marshalls, grab your blowers. And race number 13, you'll be up next.
All right, 13-5, Buggy Expert. You guys are going to be up next. Why are you not on the driver's stand? What is going on? We got a huge race going on here. And no one wants to do it. Go ahead and roll. Oh, let's get our uh, let's get our blowers down there. Thank you, Andrew. Andrew had to do a little uh, hot swap on the battery. Go ahead and roll them out. Check them in. In the 11, Nick Bayed in the 10, Brett Kaiser in the 9, Alan Drebby in the 8, Richard Grimm in the 7, Tucker McCumber in the 6, Kid in the 5, Les Anderson in the 4, Zach McConnell in the 3, Chris Lemire in the 2, Chase Lemire. Boyd, and sitting up top is going to be Ryan Prince. Chase Boyd. One minute to the start of the race. All right, we'll let Chase uh, come down here. Lee Anderson. All right, no one else down the straightaway. No one else down the straightaway. Grid them up, grid them up. Zach McConnell. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Beep. 30 seconds to the start of the race. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. All Less right. If I'd have known this many people were going to scratch, I would have had sportsmen join you. But uh, I didn't know. All right. Marshall's ready. Driver's ready. Loop's going. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's go racing at the sound of the tone. Race number 13, our four-wheel drive. Main is underway. Oh, no. Chase puts it upside down, loses his body. That's going to take a little bit of time. Oh, he lost his battery as well. He's going to be down for the count here for a little bit. So that's going to put Zach McConnell into that one spot. Tucker moves into the two. Less in the three. Nick Bayette and Drebby battling out for that final spot there. Like Boyd got all squared away. Nolan got him squared away. He's going to have to fight his way from, uh, looks like a full lap down there because there's Ryan Prince coming up down the straightaway. That is your leader working with you. Prince puts it upside down. Zach McConnell, nowhere to be found, but Zach McConnell and Les going at it for that number one spot in that expert class. Tucker's in the hunt. Drebby's in the hunt. Yeah, that didn't get uh, squared away there. So, unfortunately, Chase off that uh, good 17-5 race is going to have to bow out early at this 13-5 race due to technical difficulties. That's going to leave it wide open for these other guys. Anyone can take this expert class. McConnell, Les Anderson, Drebby, and Tucker all in the hunt. Watch that bull turn, watch that bull turn. Prince going the long way around, Bayette there. So Prince is off to the races. Zach McConnell is in that one spot with the expert class. Looks like Drebby got around less for that two spot. Tucker moves into the three as Les rolls it over and drops down to that four spot. So two, three, and four. Oh, we're running pretty close to one another. Zach McConnell's trying to get away from him. Our closest battle right now is gonna be Tucker McCumber and Les Anderson. Les goes huge off that tabletop. Both of them onto that straightaway they go. Les gets it wrong and goes out of bounds. Has to get marshaled out. So that allows Tucker to breathe a little sigh of relief there. Maybe set his sights on Drebby sitting in that two spot. But right now, Zach McConnell's enjoying a five-second lead right now. 
Gap between Drebby and McCumber is 2.5. Two minutes left. Our final race of the night, race number 14, is coming up next in two minutes. You Mini Z drivers have your stuff squared away and ready to go. Ryan Prince, he's got a huge lead. He's only running run a mod, however. He hangs it up just a little bit there. Zach McConnell still out front in that expert class, followed by Drebby. Tucker's in that three spot. Les Anderson in the four. 60 seconds left. One minute left. All right now, the closest battles between Drebby and McCumber. That's three seconds. That is a full straightaway, though. 23 seconds left. 23 seconds left. Drebby's going to get by for one more. Possibly another. Let's see how he does here. There goes Prince. That's going to be his final lap here. It's going to be Zach's final lap, Les's final lap. Let's see if Drebby get by. He does. Bad got by as well. That is time. That is time. Everyone's going to be done. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Prince goes huge. Doesn't quite work out there. Tucker, you were done. Zach, you were done. Les Anderson, you were done. Ryan Prince, you were done. Everyone else can be done when you cross that line waiting on Bayette. That is a race. All oh, stop, all stop. Marshalls, grab your blowers. We're going to need all those drivers plus a couple. The race Get is this Z race up and underway. Andrew Medicosi. All right, drivers from that last race. I don't know why you're fiddling with your cars. Park them. Let's go. Kevin Denton. We need all you guys on a blue cone. And a handful of marshals. Mini drivers, you guys got to roll them check the race. We need a handful of volunteers. You gonna hop on out, please? Grab a cone. 45 seconds to the start of the race. We got a laid back race. Last one of the night. All right, straight away is Alan closed. Dreamy. Straight away is closed. And the, the seven, race. Mike Caller, and the six, Ryan Prince, and the five, Renee Van Wagner, and the four, Nicholas Finch, and the three, Andrew Manicosi. And the two, Kevin Gatton and your top qualifier, Alan Drebby. It's like we're going to have the four race. of these guys. Okay. All right, let's get three volunteers out here, please. Let's get three volunteers out here, please. Hi, Richard. Hi, Niels. Thank you. Nielsen's going to hop on out there, and Leah Anderson's going to hop on out. Tree's going to help out. Thank you very much. 
Pepe. It's got the top of the straightaway. We just need one of the chicane and underneath the driver's stand there, Jury, and we'll be good. All right, Marshall's ready. Driver's ready. Loop is going live at the sound. I'm sorry. I'm used to saying that. Race is going live at the sound of the tone. Gatton trying to make an early move, but backs off a little bit. Let's, oh, Drebby gets it wrong. Gatton tries to go around, doesn't quite work out. Ryan Prince making a run at it. Gets boogered up in that rumble section, though. These four-wheel drives getting over it a little bit better. Allen still out front, and Gatton in that two spot. Gatton got around Drebby. Drebby was doing something there going on there straight away. I thought he ran dead. So right now it's Gatton, Prince, Drebby, and Minicozzi. Minute 15 in. Oh, I should be getting wrong in that center section, a bad part of the track. That may have been Andrew that got around him, and it was. So it's, Gat I don't know how you did that. Gatton in the one, Prince in the two, Minicozzi in the three, Drebby rolls dead after that TQ run. So it's a battle of attrition at this point. Who's gonna keep their car running long enough to win this thing? Two and a half in, two and a half to go. Getting star car still running. Andrew's car is still running. Prince's car is still running. Two minutes left. Prince's car is not sounding good, but it is still running. Oh. <laughs> you guys are forgetting that you have reverse here on this class, because that is forbidden. Prince's car got a little mini uh, rock tumbler going on there. Still rolling strong, though. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Minute 20 left, minute 20 left. All right, despite how it sounds, it's still in second place. Andrew's got that three on lockdown. Sixty seconds, sixty seconds. All right, as we wind down, make sure you go inside and clear up any tabs you have. And we'll be closing. Make sure you guys uh, drive home safe and have a happy holiday. And we'll be back racing on Wednesday. 20 seconds left.
I think Gatton thought about waiting for Prince, but he's like, ah, he's too far. I ain't going to wait that long. So despite the terrible sounding mini of Ryan Prince, it lasted the whole race. That is it, Ryan Prince, you are done in that two spot. Here comes Gatton coming around, taking the win for the mini class. And his ride waiting on Andrew. He will be the last racer. And that is a race, boys and girls. Again, thanks y'all for coming out. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So make sure, again, you drive home safe, and we'll see you uh, racing next Wednesday. The race is completed.